Welcome to another episode of the Online Prosperity Experience Podcast. You're about to hear your host, Prosper Taravinga's powerful digital marketing strategies and actionable tactics that you can use right now. Prosper has helped more than 50,000 people from over 10 countries to create meaningful businesses that are profitable and enjoyable. Listen to this podcast so that you too can build your own business with less stress and overwhelm. Let's get started. Here's how you can inspire people to buy from you. Now, I'm going to come out uh, right from the bat and say, listen, people are exhausted. You're exhausted. I'm exhausted. Sally is exhausted. Any one of your prospects is exhausted. The past year has resulted in a level of unprecedented mental exhaustion that has become unknown territory for a lot of business owners, especially coaches, consultants, and um, you know, small business owners. And I know right now you're struggling to get clients and obviously you don't want to be nagging people by cold calling their businesses or DMing them uh, only to get nothing in return. You know what I mean? We all understand that the internet is a most powerful tool you know, in the arsenal for coaches, consultants, and service business owners, but only when you implement it right, using the right systems and reaching a defined and uh, targeted audience with a clear message. Like I said, you know, the whole past year, nobody knew or expected any of what happened to happen. And in this podcast, I'm hoping I'll give you four strategies that can help you inspire people to actually buy from you. Now, let me tell you something. People like buying stuff, but they don't like being sold to. And obviously, with the way the nature of the land has sort of, you know, happened in the last uh, two or three years, people haven't been going out and they have been listening to endless, you know, um, information about their health and information about you know, the safety and the sanity of their loved ones. So you really want to approach, um, you know, these people because they're all jaded and none of this buy my stuff, look at me, look at me is ever going to work, okay? So if you've identified your target market, you've clarified your audience and you've determined the media in which you're going to reach out to these people um, at just simply... Keep it simple. You know what I mean? Just keep it simple. I, I know a lot of coaches, consultants, and business owners out there, they're going to go back into the market trying to introduce their products and service, assuming that people are in that great or f- frame of mind to buy because they haven't been buying from them um, you know, in the, in the last couple of years. And I believe there's a mantra that goes that, All they have to do is cut through the noise and grab the customer's attention and everything else will be perfect. Well, I'm here to tell you that that is all a myth, okay? Between work, children, education, Zoom meetings, and other responsibilities, our prospects are already mentally exhausted, all right? They don't know whether to, um, you know, go back to work or not, to work from home or not. There's just so much uneasiness happening with people and as a business person you have to be very um, empathetic to um, their request and approach this whole notion in a space of really uh, being authentic and having a lot of empathy uh, you know for our target audience right you know because the pandemic has brought first of all this exhaustion to levels that we don't even comprehend and nobody has dealt with something like this before you know even throughout the pandemic you know people that sell products you know coaches and consultants or 
you know, business owners, we actually need to be on the forefront to show our customers we can help them by actually helping them. And I'm hoping that in this podcast, I'm going to give you some proactive steps that you can keep your target audience motivated in order for them to actually buy from you and remain engaged. Because I fully understand that the goal for every coach, consultant, or small business owner there is to get more clients um, and customers and even generate more revenue in order to grow your business. And I assume that's your goal right from the get-go and what you want to achieve for yourself. But remember, the people that are going to be buying from us really, really need to be held with both hands because where they're coming from, we don't quite know what they've been through okay so like i said earlier on just try and keep it simple all right people are making purchase decisions simply based on how they feel at the moment like seriously their emotions are all over the place and if you're going to be throwing stuff that is not that is half baked and is not fully solving their problems don't expect people to jump at every offer that you're going to be putting out there all right otherwise if they do there will be what's called bias remorse where they will be asking for a refund or if they don't quite go through with the refund it's a bad review or no reference or recommendation um you know out there so you want to approach your audience from their own standpoint what's in it for them right they are rationalizing every thought process every decision because some of them are even contemplating do we actually still need to be uh, going to work or do we actually need to be uh, reporting to work when everything else can be done online you know and the last thing that people want is to be overwhelmed um you know or to be to feel like they're being pressured to buying stuff or going through hoops in a complex um you know sales process which they don't want i'll tell you something amazon has made it super super easy to get hard things by your doorstep just by the one click purchase so if you're gonna make things hard for people and get them to jump through hoops and they still have to wait three to five business days for your product do you think they're not gonna look for somebody who can do it cheaper better faster all right so if people are overwhelmed or if people have too much um angst they develop what's called inertia and that diminishes anything that might make a transaction possible and um you know if you're going to overwhelm people they will just decide to go somewhere else where they are treated as you know you know as if they wanted okay so this process actually applies to your entire customer journey for example you might present your target audience with you know one or two recommended products after they've done an interaction with you you know instead of slamming them with every other product that you have yes we get it you haven't made money in the last two years but it doesn't mean that whatever customer who raises up their hand is literally going to you know start contributing to your pension or whatever it is that you want money for at the moment okay so you know you you really want to make sure that whatever you're presenting out there is a needed service and once they've made that purchase make sure there's an actual human being to help them through the buying decision because if you're just going to throw stuff at people and hope that they're going to make a decision by themselves hey you know there are many offers that are being thrown out out there you know and i keep referring to how amazon has really changed the way people purchase um things if you go on the amazon website look at it it's so easy to navigate and they offer options that are personalized you know where people that are subscribed to them uh you feel like you already know what you want you know you don't want to be overwhelming um your customers with every single product that you have you know in 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 your you know in your inventory there okay so you can use connected tools um you know or website uh you know or, or, or wordpress you know tools like um woocommerce that can actually 
help to you know deliver your products to your customers at the right time you know for the right need to solve the right problem okay and once that purchase is made it makes it just super easy for them to make a purchase and wait for their delivery make sure the user experience is easy to follow and is marked by convenience and transparency in price don't put any hidden prices for shipping or any hidden prices for um you know anything that might just raise red flags for your customers and then they just decide not to go ahead um you know in making the purchase and also one thing that we need to be doing as consultants and coaches is to really take our customers on a journey make them feel included you know when people have mentally checked out they just like zombies scrolling through whatever news feed and then they stumble upon your ad or whatever lead magnet that you might have you really want to show them and give them uh something that looks familiar so that there's the very little resistance in anything that they're gonna be um you know doing their thumbs are trigger happy right but if anything just looks out of proportion or out of work let me tell you something they will just scroll past all right so look to what you know successful e-commerce businesses are doing you know in the name of like amazon or whatever it is and just try and create that favorable experience um you know for your customers and don't never make people feel stupid when they're about to make a purchase all right people like us do things like this so your customers are looking to what others are doing to orientate themselves on what to do okay so if you can help them see that other people like them are also buying and other people who they might know or who they might be familiar with are also making purchases that takes away the angst of um if you if people don't quite know who you are it just builds the trust okay so that will also give them a sense of belonging a sense of safety a sense of direction because the worst thing that anybody wants these days is to make a purchase on somebody who's not qualified somebody um you know who's going to waste their time money and effort all right which means when they're buying stuff they want to buy what other people are already purchasing so whatever you're going to be doing on your website make sure you've got um you know testimonials from other people or recognized faces within the industry that would then help you make that transaction easy and one way to help people focus um better on their crowd is to maybe build custom audiences on your social media platforms let them see other people connecting with you let them see people they respect connecting with you and eventually that would then transfer whatever authority they already have placed on those familiar people uh onto yourself it's really easy to deliver targeted messages to specific demographics this way all right it feels like a feeding frenzy and if you want to see what that looks like jump onto my facebook and see how i connect with so many random seemingly random people but they all i have identified them as my target audience i've clarified my message to them all i got to do is keep engaging them and inspiring them to be do and have a business that's profitable and enjoyable plus you actually give people an interactive tool because let me tell you something it's so difficult out there the internet is made with mediocre content and if you can actually create a platform that people can come so that they're not being exposed to um, whatever information is being thrown out there guess what you will actually start getting people uh, sharing your content knowing you and eventually trusting you you give people a reason to belong because we are always searching for our own do you know what i mean so um that now gives people a reason to want to keep interacting with you and getting to know you a little bit more and eventually they will buy from you all right even though you might want to be very positive about what's happening or you know you want to just maintain and keep on brand always acknowledge the climate instead of trying to sell it okay make sure that you are part of the conversation instead of trying to uh, speak at people engage with your audience at a level where you are actually helping them 
by actually helping them. You see, there's no hiding from the current climate and everyone is nervous and everyone is not certain, you know, how to engage and they're looking to leaders and coaches like yourself for information because people are coming to the internet to get information and if they get it from you, then guess what? They get to know you, like you and trust you. And we all know that people do business with those they know, like and trust. So today, what that means is, you know, the pandemic is on everyone's mind. You know, but the climate could, um, you know, read entirely different from now. But you just want to stay on course. Just acknowledge that, yes, it's happening and help people navigate and make sense of the world around them. You know, the best example being used today, um, you know, I, I think it's it's called the dots or, you know, squares that businesses are putting on their store floors just to remind people about social distancing. All right. Of course, they're already seeing it um, elsewhere. Just, just because you don't believe it or just because you are not part of the narrative, it doesn't mean you have to do the right thing. So there's no hiding from, you know, this unprecedented crisis. And it is actually a reasonable thing for businesses to acknowledge it instead of trying to hide away from it because it doesn't suit your own personal narrative. And guess what? Your clients are already engaging in those conversations. So if you're not having those conversations, then guess what? They're having them with somebody else who might just have an offer for them. All right. So for quite a while now, customers have been demanding transparency. They've been demanding authenticity and the actual truths from people that they're doing business with. And unfortunately, with so many changes going on, these uh, you know, this exchange between your clients and you with authenticity can come off as inter intentionally transferring the climate or whatever is happening onto your customers. And it's like they're trying to sell our methods or you're trying to sell them onto your ideas or the, your protocols as part of the service. In reality, it's not a service at all. You know, just try and engage with the conversation. It's it's part of the life we are living right now. And your shoppers won't tolerate being manipulated or having their basic reality ignored because they want you to acknowledge that whatever environment you're creating for them is safe and they can actually transact and connect with other people, you know, without being, um, without their opinions or beliefs being undermined. So, your job as a business owner, as a coach or a consultant is to just facilitate those conversations happening without maybe you uh, putting in your two cents. So instead of trying to sell, you know, the climate or, you know, trying to pretend that you can transform it into something that it's not just maybe talk about it or facilitate those conversations. Acknowledge that everybody is on the same boat. Everybody's tired and they're frustrated and most of all, they're nervous. We are all internet explorers looking for the way back home. Your job as a coach is to literally be that lighthouse that guides people, um, you know, so they can make sense of the world around them. And eventually they can now be doing and have a happier existence. All right. So our prospects respond far more, you know, to somebody with empathy than they will to somebody who's speaking at them. So find what the middle ground is as long as you're not involving yourself in things that can now tarnish your brand in the future and people hold you against whatever you would have said. Um, which is why I literally gravitate towards using humor because no one, well, unless you're Dave Chappelle, but <laughs> no one um, you know, if you are laughing or commenting in, in, in jest, people will just laugh about it and move on with their lives. You know, even when times are, you know, are easy, humor goes a long way in creating maybe a fun, memorable experience that customers can enjoy. If you jump onto my Facebook, I always have a couple of posts that are funny. You know, that's the only way that other people can interact, you know, because, um, a smile is a universal language. I speak five different languages before English, and I know that we can all laugh in the same language. That's the only thing that brings people together, okay? So when things are tough, 
Humor can actually build, bring you, um, you know, buyers and people because they see your empathy in a more personal way. And especially if it's self-deprecating humor, you know, when you're actually laughing at yourself, you know, because when you're a coach or consultant, people put you on a pedestal and they actually think you're this entity that is untouchable. But if you... um you know, laugh at yourself and you help people throw rocks at their enemies in the process, guess what? You appear to be more human and it actually builds relationships and, you know, it can remind your audience that, you know, there, there still is life out there that they can look forward to. And in the process, while you are laughing and joking, you're at least spreading a bit of positivity out there, you know, and people buy when they're happy you are creating a buying environment and experience for people you're right because when people are afraid they hold on to their wallets but when they are happy guess what they will want to reciprocate um that so not only that but humor can also um you know disarm tension some people are just really uptight at the moment all right so if your customers have any kind of problems or they're going through a hard time you can diffuse such a situation so that people don't leave the transaction with a bad taste in their mouth now you see i'm always giving you know uh, ideas and strategies like this and if you're actually struggling to get more clients or you're sick of cold calling um you know businesses as a coach consultant or um small business owner i want you to maybe download our 10 you know, a proven 10-step uh, proven system that will ha help you get, you know, um, qualified clients to your business in the next 90 days, all right? So whatever, um, you know, platform you're listening this on or whatever information that you got this podcast from, be sure to download the report that comes with this because you know what? I know you deserve a life of freedom. All right. Well, I know that you deserve a business that's profitable and enjoyable, and it is in my best interest to make sure that is available to you. Now, till the next time, thank you so much for uh, tuning into these episodes and please subscribe so that you're not missing out on any of this awesome advice that we have for you, because I viscerally believe that anyone or any coach, consultant or small business owner should have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. Why not you? I'm celebrating your success already. <laughs> Bye for now. Thank you for joining us today. If you have any questions, let's continue the conversation in the Live Long Digital community. Become a Live Long Digital community member today. This community is for ambitious entrepreneurs and small business owners with the drive to take control of the future of their businesses and achieve huge success without stress and overwhelm. As you heard, Prosper can help you by teaching you marketing strategies that work. So look no further than the live long digital community of entrepreneurs and highly successful business owners. Join our community today. Find us on www.community.livelongdigital.com.au network with other driven entrepreneurs and find the expert guidance you need to take your business to the next level. www.community.livelongdigital.com.au